Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we've got a quick and easy tutorial covering how to fade in and fade out of clips in iMovie. Now we are talking about video clips in this particular tutorial. If you want to know about audio clips, I actually have a separate video for that. That's going to be linked down in the description. Okay, so we've got our new project open in iMovie. Let me go ahead and drag in a video clip so we can get started. Now the easiest way by far to do this is actually in your iMovie settings located over here on the right side of the screen. Once you open your settings, you'll see a couple options here for fading in from black and then fade out to black. Uh, if you do this, you'll see right away you have a little sort of faded icon up here in both the start and the end of the clip. And this is just kind of the easy automatic way to fade in and to fade out of your project. That's automatically applied to the very beginning of your project and the very end. So this is gonna be a great option if you just wanna get it done quickly. The downside obviously is you don't have a lot of control over the speed and the duration of these fade outs. You can see they're actually fairly quick, kind of hard to notice. So instead of doing that, let me show you how you can get a little bit more control over this. Let me go ahead and undo those settings. And instead we're gonna talk about transitions. Now in your transitions menu in iMovie, you also have a fade to black option. And basically you'll just drag that onto your timeline wherever you want it to go. You can see when I play it here, I have a nice fade to black. You can also drag it to the beginning. And iMovie automatically knows whether it needs to fade into the clip or to fade out. Now if you hover over this, you'll see the default duration of the fade out is about one second, but we may wanna make that actually longer. To do that, you can double click the little transition icon here and you can enter another value of your choice. Let's say I wanted two seconds instead. Change that to two seconds. Of course, if I do that, I'll need to go to my beginning clip. I can adjust this to double click that. I can change this to two seconds as well. Now, depending upon how many clips and how often you're doing this, that can obviously be a little tedious. So what I actually recommend is going instead to your iMovie menu, click on preferences. Here you can see there's a default duration when adding transitions to the timeline. The default is one second. If you experiment enough and you find that, hey, I actually like two seconds or three seconds, you can go ahead and change the default uh, in the preferences. And then any new transition that I drag into the timeline, you can see there it's automatically two seconds. I don't have to manually adjust every transition every time. Now, of course, you may be interested in more than just fading in and fading out uh, of your entire project. You may have multiple clips, for example, and you wanna do transitions to those as well. Now, you probably won't do a fade to black if you have multiple clips in a row, though you definitely could. That has a certain style and a certain effect, but you actually have multiple transitions that you can choose from in iMovie several of these that I like for doing in-between clip transitions. So I wouldn't use fade to black for that one necessarily. Some of my favorites would be like the cross blurring transition. So I can just drag this over my fade to black. It will automatically replace it. It'll keep the same time amount there. You can see what this looks like. That's actually a little bit slow, I think, for a sort of in between clips transition. So I'm gonna change that back to one second just for this occasion. That's a nice sort of snappy transition to a different scene. I also like the fade to white as another option. This is especially nice if there's a big difference between scenes, a big difference in color values, for example. Fade to white can be nice just to kind of give you a clean slate. Many others that you can try in here, probably my third favorite is gonna be the slide transitions. I prefer slide to the right, just to kind of give it that sort of forward momentum into the next clip. Now finally, I've added some music to my project because I might also wanna do like a very long fade in from black with just music in the background. Now one of the problems you'll discover with a fade in from black or fade to black in either case is that this fade sort of cuts away from some of your clip. You can see without this, I start on the, the scene on the street. 
And if I wanted to add a long fade in from black, let's say I wanted to do two or three seconds, just so I can have some music setting the mood for my video, I've already cut out three seconds. I've cut out basically that whole first part of the clip uh, where the cars were moving. And so that can be sort of frustrating. Now, what I've found is a better method, especially if you want to have a very long transition, you can actually use a background to help you do that. So when we click on the backgrounds, you can see there's different colors and things like that. You can just choose the basic black background here. And this actually gives me sort of extra space on my timeline. I can adjust this so I have just as much time as I want. And then I'll do my fade to black here. I'll do a quick one because I don't want to take up quite as much time from my actual video clip. But now you'll see I have a nice long black intro that eventually fades into my video clips. If you guys find this type of content helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so you get new videos as they release. And if you're interested, we actually have another video talking more about audio fade ins and fade outs. Click the video on your screen right now if you want to see that one next. And thanks again for watching.